Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about the next component of Selenium, that Selenium Web Driver. Now, this is the most commonly used component that in most of the programs, and uh, this is the most suitable in Selenium 4. So you can say Selenium Web Driver is a successor of RC. That means before we used Selenium RC that we talked about in the last video, here now we used Selenium Web Drivers mostly. So the Selenium web drivers accept the commands and send them to the browser. So in case of Selenium RC, there was a server. So the commands were passed to the server and based on that server, the browser worked. But here, that server thing is completely removed. So now what happens here is, here it's very simple. Just you write the command and that command straight away communicate to the browser. That's all the story of Selenium web drivers. So Selenium Web Drivers supports browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Internet Explorer, and so on. Now Selenium Web Driver does not require a server to initiate test execution. It communicates directly with the browser. That's the point which I was saying, and that's why I say Selenium Web Driver is successor of RC. It's just you can say it's trying to replace Selenium RC. Selenium Web Driver works on more than one platform. So it's like it works on Windows, the same thing works on Mac, it works on Linux and Android and many more. Now, this is how the complete structure of Selenium Web Driver is. This is supporting different browsers and these are the name of driver of different browsers that supports Selenium Web Driver. So that's all about the Selenium Web Driver. I hope it's quite clear that what exactly Selenium Web Driver is doing and what it's working for. So I'll tell you that we are going to use Selenium Web Drivers in our program, and this is the one that we are using right now for testing purpose. That's all in this video. Then bye-bye. Thank you.